Hey, Daddy O. I can only find the one mitten ever. <laughs> this isn't the mitten I found last night, but now the mitten I found last night, I don't know where it is. <laughs> but now I found a different mitten. Welcome to the vlog. <laughs> dinner tonight we have veggies and a peanut sauce and cucumber dill salad it is basically the latest we've ever like attempted at starting a vlog 8 p.m mm -hmm. except though i think that one time we went to epcot for new year's and we started but that's the vlog. different that's like a new year's event i know but we started at like past 11 p.m so on a standard normal calendar day without a special event going along this is the latest we're starting a vlog. We don't even know if we're going to be making this into a vlog. I had... Your last clip you were holding this baby, but oh. it's been hours later. It has been hours. I had a very crazy day at work, but I at least like went into it mentally expecting it. For some reason this week, for me, this is my third Thanksgiving week at this company, and it's always a hot mess. Mm -hmm. I'm always working from like before my usual work until later than my usual work because everyone's trying to like get stuff ready for the end of the year and everyone's going on holiday and so like I was just like working, 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 working. Well, now it's over and you get to hang out with your baby. And we're going to give him a real bath today. And I spent most of today battling my headache still. It was still really bad in the middle of the night. It was even worse in the morning. Um, I slept a decent amount and slept then... Ten. What? You slept till 10. Slept till 10. Peter like took James on while he was working. Um, but then once I was up, me and James just had like a really nice relaxing day. I have, even though Peter's been holding him in both of these clips, um, I've spent a lot of time just relaxing with James today. And, um, yeah, I feel better. I don't feel 100%, um, but definitely better. Things were very bleak this morning. And what else was I going to say? Oh, yeah, cook dinner. I'm going to fold laundry. So this really isn't going to be the fanciest of vlogs. Um, but it's our life today. Yeah. Two notable mentions of today. James has gone through the most amount of outfits he's ever gone through. He's gone through about seven outfits today. And we've, we're on like hour five of Gilmore Girls. It's a very momentous occasion right now. James Ryan Burkhardt is about to get his first submergible bath. Oh my goodness. <laughs> he's excited. <laughs> <laughs> And get a little massage. I'm gonna put some lotion on little baby acne. Um, James, are you ready for bath time? He's awfully cozy. He's awfully cozy. <laughs> James, you look so big. All stretchy. <laughs> So big. Look at his hand, he's a little boy. Before we know it, you're gonna be watching SpongeBob coming down the Macy's Day Parade and being a month old. Well, that was an incredible first bath experience, don't you think, sir? Yeah, um, 
downstairs, lotion him up, give him a little baby massage. I just cleaned up the, the bathtub and hung it to dry. Um, now, I'm gonna go do something that a lot of people, not a lot of people, but there were some people, there are people that say like, oh, that's not gonna happen as often when you have a baby, and that's me running. And I remind anybody who says me that, friends, coworkers, family, say, but the thing is, you don't have this right here. What? You. Me? Yeah. People don't give Sarah enough credit for how much she's the one that like pushes me to get out the door. And so just now, it's like we have a mountain of dishes to do, and the goal was to do both dishes and run tonight, and it's 10 o'clock at night, getting late. just know, like, you haven't ran in a couple of days, this bath, and that, like, that satisfaction and, like, what running does for you is worth more than getting the dishes done. I'm still telling myself like, I'll get the dishes done when I get back. Um, but I was like, hey, do you want me to do dishes first and then running, or running and then dishes? And she's like, do running and then dishes or dishes tomorrow. So, I'm gonna get changed while they're having like relaxing massage time and cuddle time. But I'm gonna run now so I can cuddle the rest of my life, right? Um, is someone trying to get coal for Christmas? I'm putting my shoes on to go run and Sarah's with James. I think Eve knows that like our attention wasn't on her. And we look over and she's just Suddenly chewing on my Santa Mickey head. Oh gosh! Hey Verse, you can't do that to Christmas. You're a Christmas pup. When Peter left for his run, there was a package outside our door from our friends Karen and Kayla. How sweet is this? It's a bell to call for Santa every Christmas Eve. Thank you guys, this is so magical. Check it out, Park Ave. Getting a little festivus. Looking good. Oh, I'm hurting. But I feel good, but I'm hurting. Not gonna lie. And I say this with a warning that all of you should know that I'm above the age of 21 years old. I knocked back about a half a bottle of red wine tonight, fully thinking I wasn't going for a run. And then my best friend in the whole world, Sarah, convinced me to go on a run. But I feel good. It is. 60 degrees in Orlando slash Winter Park, Florida. So I pushed a little bit. Let's see if I can push on the way on the way back. But feels good to be back out and running. And I'm just I'm just so happy, you know? Work was a bummer, but it's Monday, Thanksgiving week. About to have Thanksgiving dinner with my pup my best friend and my baby and it's gonna be a good time so that's all i have to say about that well i really didn't think the run was gonna go well or the cleaning would happen and boy was i wrong run went well and cleaning happened to the top as could be sarah destroyed the living room by destroying me and she cleaned it to perfection and the dishes has never been cleaner because there was like three dishes we've been waiting to like get sos pads but we tried to grab these new mr clean the thin eraser erasers and I used one on like five of these our bigger baking dishes and they they've never been cleaner like some of our cookie sheets that had like crust like black like charred stuff mm -hmm. all gone incredible highly highly promote these Sarah's feeding James I'm um, heating up a bottle and then we're calling it a day it's 12 20 tomorrow's my last full day of work for the week I'm excited I even went as far as setting up the coffee maker with water, grounds, and my mug ready to go in the morning because I do have some like mission critical reports to go out in the morning. And by that I mean literally I feel like every Thanksgiving week I end up preparing a report that's like last minute, super important, going straight to the CEO. Um, so I sent like a preliminary one off today. My VP sent me back notes and was like, change this, change this, alter that, filter that. So that's kind of like what I'm going to try to be doing at like 7 a.m. tomorrow. Today is Monday, November 23rd. The 23rd's quote is by Anonymous. Your day will go the way the corners of your mouth turn. I have heard that numerous times and I agree with that wholeheartedly. 
do you agree with that, Eve? Does your day go the way your mouth turns? Does it? I think so. Hey, cutie pie. Sarah asked me to let her know when the, the formula bottle was almost heated up so she didn't attempt to re-swaddle him. And uh, I don't know if he uh, needs that second bottle. <laughs> He's looking pretty content right now. I'm looking like if we could just, oh, oh. He hates his feet being constrained, his legs. So literally, it'll be like three in the morning, I'll look over at the bassinet and his legs will just be sticking straight up. Oh, he is ready for some more. Are we smacking those lips? Oh, goodness. Like I haven't been by you all day. Creepy, Creepy Santa. Santa. We never actually like formally introduced him, but this year. I will link a couple of videos in the description and in the corner. It's good to be home. It's good to be home. We know what our goals are, we know what we hope to accomplish, and believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.